Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. This is our Manchester United versus FC Copenhagen preview ahead of Monday's Europa League quarter-final, which is a massive, massive game for United. And I think it's really important that from this position, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer goes and wins the Europa League. I mean, it's literally three games. Beat Copenhagen, probably going to get Wolves or Sevilla in the semi-final. In fact, we will do. And then final, maybe Inter Milan or Bayer Leverkusen. So it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be very exciting. It's hot, hot, hot in the UK, and it could be a really hot Europa League. Park the Jaden Sancho deal for a moment. Focus on what matters. That's what's happening on the pitch. And I, I, I almost feel that we need to get pump it up, pump it up, pump it up. I made my own song up there, but realistically, I think we do need to pump it up a little bit because. Why is this? Why is there a bit, a little bit of lath, lath, lethargy towards this? Why am I hearing I'm going to have a mixture of team? Maybe Lingard will start, but I might bring Pogba back in. No, no, no! Put your best team out. Go out and win the game. Because look, we didn't play well against Lask with the reserves, and um, Copenhagen are going to be better than them. Now, what if we don't play well with some of the reserves again and we get knocked out? We're just going to go. Oh well, we can all go on holiday now. Europa League. It's a trophy. We didn't win a trophy last year. We haven't won that many trophies over the last six years. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer hasn't won a trophy yet. So go and win a trophy that we're good enough to win. I mean, look, looking at it on paper, Manchester United are the favourites for not only this game, but for the tournament itself. But that's why this team on the left must play. When you look at Copenhagen, they had a fantastic result against Istanbul. A lot of people thought Istanbul, good result in the first leg. Second leg, they'd go to De uh, Denmark and they'd beat Copenhagen. They had people like Cliche, Denver Bar, Skirtle. A good side, and they were comprehensively beaten. And Copenhagen have had their problems. I mean, I think Ndoy, their best ever striker, Senegalese, he's left on a free transfer. They've got a few injuries, but they're well organised, and they're going to give us a good game of football if we're not on our game. And mental, mentally, what, what would the point be in putting a half-weakened team out against Copenhagen, and now it's the semi-final, let's go with our stronger team? We know if we get to the semi-final, we're going to go strong because we're going to have to play Wolves or Sevilla. Let's go strong now. Let's get these players back infiltrated. And the team picks itself for me. Romero in goal. Why? Put De Gea in. He's the better goalkeeper. wan Basaka, Lindelof, Harry Maguire, Brandon Williams. That's our best back four. Matic, Bruno Pogba, best midfield three. And then get the young guns up front. Anthony Martial, Marcus Rashford, Mason Greenwood. And go out and do the damage. Go out and do the damage. Get some game time back into those legs of the first team. Take some momentum into the semi-final. And I think if we go with that team, we beat Copenhagen probably 2 or 3 nil. But if we don't, we open the door up. And, they're, you know, they're not a bad side. I don't know loads about them. They're not a bad side. Um, that Rasmus Falk, who plays off the, uh, off the wing, very good game against Istanbul. They've got a couple of players of it, you will have heard of as well. Oviedo, who used to be at Everton, fullback. Obviously, Varela, who used to be at Manchester United. Apparently, he was going to be the next Gary Neville. But, uh, you know, I never said that. Some perhaps did. But look, then, 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 I don't know the level of Copenhagen. I don't know whether you'd say they're a sort of championship side or a lower Premier League side, but they will be well organised and they will give us a better game than Lask did. And United must be on the ball. And I think if Oli doesn't send the right team out, i.e. the team on the left, then we send the wrong message out. I mean, personally, I don't think many players from the last Lynx game should be anywhere near the starting lineup. If you start any of them. Uh, in the last, in the Copenhagen game, I think you're sending the wrong message out. In fact, the only two that I think really may well have deserved the game was Lingard and Fred. But you're going to have to drop Bruno. You're going to have to drop Matic. You're going to have to drop Pogba to allow those players to come back in. So for me, it's a big no. You go with your strong team. You get over the line. You get into the semi-finals and you try to win the Europa League. And that's what Manchester United's aim is in this game. Very very simple. And, and play on the front foot as well. Play on the front foot. Use that front three. I think that obviously Copenhagen kept a, a clean sheet against Istanbul. But are we going to really sit back and allow them to hurt us? Or are we going to go on the front foot and dictate the play? And I think that, again, is why we must play our better team. I think this is a very, very, very easy game to prepare for if you respect it. And I think we're going over to Cologne now. We're going to be uh, over there, hopefully, for a couple of weeks in Germany. Let's let's not focus on outside factors. Oli's going to Solskjaer's job and the player's job is to go over there and come back with a trophy. And I'll tell you this now, just in case we slip up in this, just in case we go into it with the wrong mentality. If we come out of this tournament with the Europa League at the end of it, all right, there's no fans in the ground. But look, you know, in fairness, look at Arsenal when they, when they won the FA Cup. No fans in the ground. They absolutely loved it. The Champions League will be the same. If we win this Europa League, 
we will all watch it. It will be a big thing. I don't think it. I don't. I don't know whether it will be able to be as big as it felt when we beat Ajax. I don't know because obviously football is a little bit different now without the fans. It, it's hard, but it's hard to get that emotion and atmosphere in a ground. But I tell you what. If we win that Europa League, it will feel very, very significant because it is very, very significant to win that trophy. And that's got to be the aim for United. And that, that, my only concern going into this, and we'll wait and see what Oli's going to say in his press conference tomorrow, is are we respecting this trophy? Are we going to win this trophy? And I think the De Gea's of this world, the Brunos, the Martial's, the first team has got to start and then, you send, then you're sending out the right message for this game. So I want to see that. I don't want to see us going into it half-hearted. It's a tournament. It's basically knockout stage now. And there will be some hungry teams. Wolves are going to be hungry. If they don't win the Europa League, they don't get into Europe. Inter Milan are going to be hungry. I mean, Alexis Sanchez is going to be very hungry. He'd love to be beating us in the final. And, you know, that's the opportunity there. We could have a semi-final against Wolves. We could have a final against Inter Milan. And who doesn't want that? And this Copenhagen game, it's not last links. It is a step up. They will give everything. It is a giant killing if they do it, but they will give everything to do that. So we must respect the opposition and we must respect the trophy. And that's that's where I that's what I think. I don't know what everybody else thinks. Certainly get in the comments and let us know what you think about that because I think we've got to respect it and I think we've got to go for it. I think it's a massive, massive game and I don't see the point. I actually don't understand why you would play Fred, why you would play a Lingard, why you would play an Eric Bay. What's the point? Um, to rest players that you're going to need to use anyway in the latter stages of the tournament. And this is the latter stages. So let's go for it. And let's go and win this tournament. And let's let's get enthused. Let's get excited. Look, I know there's a lot of talk about the Sancho deal. You can check out the video I did this afternoon for the latest on that. And I'm sure there's going to be more developments of that any time. But for now, we do need to also respect the football side of things. Because ultimately, if we do sign Sancho and we do sign a centre-back, they're going to be playing football matches. And this is what this is against Copenhagen. It's a football match in a tournament that we mustn't disrespect. I don't know why some people are, are a little bit tired and not enthused by it because this is the business end of a trophy that we would have really loved to win at the start of the season. So let's go and win it. Thanks everyone for watching. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. I'll speak to you all soon. And also get onto That's Football if you're watching it around 7, 8 o'clock because I am doing a Barcelona versus Napoli watch along. I'll drop the link in the video description. I'll speak to you all soon.